Hello everyone, thank you for joining me here, my name is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let us continue our Hearts of Iron 4 Russian Empire campaign in heart in the name of the Tsar mod. So let's talk about a few things before we really get cooking again. So, uh, Europe is pretty much done, at least with the Berlin Pact. Obviously the German lands have been conquered again, since the second time, since the Great War. And the Balkans and the Slavic peoples are kind of a mess. Uh, for example, I mean, we t had to take out Slovakia, and this Carpathian Ruthenia will be given back to them in the future, in the future once this war is fully over. Romania and Hungary. Hungary's already been weakened a little bit, since they have claims and stuff, but they don't really, they can't have any of that. Uh, and it's no secret that our intelligence committee has found that they're trying to plan some sort of attack on Galicia against us. With that in mind, we will have to take precautions at to destroy the Hungarians, even if that means we have to launch or start a war against the Hungarians themselves. And of course, the Hungarians are not working alone. They are actually a puppet of Cro Serbia, puppet of Serbia, who also is another puppet of Croatia. So, we might eventually have to go to war with the Kingdom of Hungary and Serbia and Croatia. Now, we're going to go ahead and give the go-to to justify war claims. That we will not be, we will not tolerate threats against our country against some filthy Hungarians, and their overlords, the Serbs and Croats. So, I'll we'll have that in mind. Uh, let's see, Romania obviously is gone right now because they declared war on us. I already explained that. And also this, uh, this Central China stuff here with the Japanese Empire. I'm gonna leave it the way it is because uh, only the People's Republic of China and Qing China have claims on this territory. Well, I mean, I guess technically Chinese state has one, but I don't want them to be too strong. I increase the size of the Chinese state just to be stronger so there'd be less revolts. However, with the Japanese here, it still gives them direct control on this territory. We'll probably put more soldiers in here to make sure it's stable while having kind of a buffer state so they'd have China in the middle and another China below them. But here they would have a, a really strong base of operations, at least the Japanese will, or at least would if I don't kill them all. So the Japanese would have a very strong strong base of operations to see directly Mongolia, their puppets, Yunnan, Tibet, as well as state of Xinjiang if they were to fur further expand. So that's why I'm leaving them here and I don't want to give Qing China and the Chinese state too much power, but something tells me that they're not going to last very, very long. And someone asked if I had a Discord. Uh, at the moment for this channel, I do not. I have a personal one, but uh, I may have a Discord maybe eventually. That might be kind of cool. I'm not sure Really what to do with the Discord. I know it's, you know, you talk and discuss stuff and promote stuff. I mean, I have my personal Discords. You know, I'm in the Magical Road to 56 Kaiserreich, Ferreich Discord, so. Uh, maybe I'll think about it. I'll think about creating a Discord for this channel. That'd be kind of cool. Let's see. Yep. And we're just going to continue on, and we might strike the Ottoman Empire because we have a war goal against them until 1944. So, we're just fighting against the Ottomans. Actually, would be, which would be very, very good. But if I put my ships in here, there'd be no point to, since we can't really get anywhere. And I don't really have planes yet. I told my soldiers that they need more planes, and they obviously do not have enough yet. So. Oh, and they're doing the Caucasus region? Uh, don't do that. Who is actually over here? Boris? I know I told you guys to fix up your tanks, and we're going to have to take quite a while for that. But who else is helping you down here? You, Vladimir Capel. Oh, you already have some guys. Uh, take another air wing. Who are you? You are down over here by the Allies near India. Don't need to worry about you at all. You should join. Alright, who's that? This is. Oh, he's guarding the border with against the Nordic countries. Uh, you know what? We'll give you to here, and then we'll give you another bomber. But I'm gonna put you with our main, uh, with our group in Asia, because we definitely need another, uh, group here. Asia, 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 good. Yeah, they're doing, they're doing alright so far. Nothing major, but it's 1942, but they're, they're doing well enough, at least at the moment. So it's more infantry equipment, since everyone uses infantry equipment. Uh, it's going to a lot of break through these lines. Manchuria, Japanese Manchuria, or also known as the, the supposed Manchurian Empire, which is the wrong, incorrect, Puppet uh, pretender Manchuria to our Russian Manchuria. 
That's quite a, a lot of uh, manpower, of course, because they're Jap Chinese. The J Japanese are out of manpower. That's good. But I want to see. I wish I could see how much equipment they have. Yeah, this is not good for our supply. Um, you have logistic companies. I need to research better logistic companies then. You should come here. So you are all just kind of hanging out right now. Uh, I'm not really sure where to put you. You know what? Let's put you against Iraq. Since we're already expanding pretty heavily into the Middle East and we will kill off uh, the Ottoman Empire eventually. Now, I don't want to add Serbia to my empire or my uh, Adam as allies just because Hungary is being very menacing. Oh, good. We have established the Russian Film Council, so we get quite a bit more daily political power. Uh, the army knows best for stability. That's not bad. That's interesting. I'm probably going to do that. I don't want to claim Alaska yet. Reinforce our eastern presence. We'll get more war support, but that's okay. Manchurian candidate. Really the Manchurian ultimatum. Make peace with the Japanese. See, it's Sakhalin. No, 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 no. Ooh, medium. Oh, yeah, we want to get medium armor. Yeah, let's do that. We get a bonus to research. Of course, we're getting ready to declare war on Hungary. And they should be... Yeah, they're getting closer and closer to finishing that up. Uh, looks like the Ottomans are going with communal living. I'm kind of surprised that they've not done more with these focuses. Conquer Mesopotamia. Oh, they crushed Albania? Or they want to crush Albania. Oh, they're at war as well. So they tried to ally Bulgaria, and they're trying to reestablish Turkokrashtia. Huh. Demands our annexation. Mehmed's revenge. Sorry to Bulgaria. Ally Bulgaria. Uh, are they allied with the Ottomans? No, they're not. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. What happened here? We lost 15 convoys. Why do I have convoys? When we sunk, uh, that's that's good, but why would I have convoys down here? That doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, it looks like that Japanese division. Yeah, they're out of manpower, so only Manchuria has manpower. I want you guys to continue being careful. Uh, let's see, you. Please tell me you can be a logistic wizard. Darn it, organizer. He needs to be a better organizer. Oi. Anything else? Nope. Nothing else. Ooh. He's saying, you should probably help them out, actually. If we can take their capital, they might capitulate. Maybe. Manchurian Empire might. I mean, we've lost quite a few guys already. 351,000 men is no no laughing matter, but... Uh, you actually go up here. That should actually push them quite a bit closer. No, they're still, they're still holding out. Very strong. Alright, so at this point, go ahead and stop the attacks. Ooh, decryption too good. Let's get some better logistic company support. Because our supplies are dying here in Asia. Oh, we cut a couple guys off. That'll be good. Go ahead and take these guys out. These Japanese divisions are going to hopefully suffer and die before declaring war on me. 1942, we're focused on our logistic companies. We're done with encryption and decryption. Air support's looking pretty okay. Pretty okay. Light cruisers are good. Destroyers are good. Naval doctrine could definitely use some work. Infantry could definitely use some work as well soon. Support companies are done. Uh, we're going to wait for our bonus research, even though at this point it really doesn't matter. Yeah, we'll wait. Artillery is pretty much done. Well, mm, let's get some more extraction. Why extraction? Because we're out of tungsten and rubber. What is this? Ooh, better artillery. Yeah, that, that's, that's good stuff. Yeah, you go ahead and finish them out. Improved infantry equipment too. Good, we need better infantry equipment across the board anyways. What are supplies like? Pretty good! Really good except for tanks and peace with Japan. We need to achieve our goal. Manchuria is under our control. Japan proposes peace. How should we act? Uh, we could end the war, sign the peace. Korea becomes a puppet of the Russian Empire. We get two islands. No peace shall become ours. Uh, Russian Manchuria cancels diplomacy with, with the Japanese Empire. Becomes owner of all these regions. Korea. I think that's actually extremely good. I'm surprised that we get actually that entire war goal with we get a focus completed without even doing the focus because the focus is over here because I didn't take it yet. I had to claim Alaska first and then reinforce our presence or reinforce our eastern presence and the Manchurian candidate. Uh, I am very inclined to end the war right now because there's no way I can get to Japan. My navy is just not good enough. So we shall end the war. We will sign the peace and have a great time with our spoils of war. 
even though we had taken quite a few casualties. But at least this way, we can now focus... Oh, that's so good! We can ex focus extremely heavily on Europe, hopefully. Because... Oh, we're still fighting China, maybe? But this is nice. Russian Manchuria? This is proper Russian Manchurian territory. They're like Grand Duke Kirill Vladimirovich, who, like I said, someone said earlier, unfortunately doesn't have a fortune in this game. And we also have the Joseon Empire under Yi Kang. Awesome. No manpower. And eh, quite a bit of manpower, even though they're already on the screen. And the barrel. That was absolutely delightful. Ooh, all division. That's a lot of divisions. Six. I could probably throw those guys there. Uh, how many... Oh, that's that's my tanks. Also defense. Oh, put one there. Your Asia? Does your Asia need any more? Oh, yeah, I suppose your Asia could use more. At this point, I don't need that much more infantry, so let's get rid of you guys. We already have six going, so... If I need any more, I can pull them off here. And we really need to increase it to 40 with divisions now. I mean, we still have some divisions being made, but... Uh, let's get rid of two, yeah. Cancel two. You come over here. That's good. Set to high. What's the defense? Oh! And we signed a white piece, of course, with the Japanese Empire. Which is good. This is extremely good. Who are we at war with? Nobody. Alright. Uh, this looks kind of interesting. This is a very odd color. Oh, they, they just changed their flag. Nice. That's actually extremely good. Extremely, extremely good. Now we have established an extreme presence in Asia. I mean, the Berlin Pact is still fighting, which is kind of unfortunate for us. But, this is extremely... I'm, I'm happy with this. Holy cow, this is really awesome. And I guess with that, technically since I'm out of the war, and I do have player led Peace Conferences mod on, I get to take all this territory, but we will divide it up appropriately. So, Slovakia. Um, I'm taking Slovakia because... Yeah, their territory is... We're going to have to rework this. Austria. Hmm. Romania. I definitely... I'm not liberating the Ukraine. No way. That'll cause a lot of instability. We'll take Romania. Now, Germany... It really should be divided between me and France. Or at least me and the Allies. Italy should probably have control over Austria. So I'm going to give them that because they did most of the work. I didn't really fight Austria very much. I didn't fight Germany very much either. So... That being said, Italy, you will get... Uh, honestly, I'll probably give him most of Austria. Yeah. That Oh, can't actually do that because that costs too much. Oops. Uh, and turn. Oh, there it is. Something else happened. Yeah, we're taking all of that. Uh, how many points have we got? 1,500? I hope that's enough. Take all states. Ooh. Hopefully we shall have enough soon, because honestly, we didn't really get involved too much with Germany and Austria, even though I was literally helping defend their country against everyone else. So that just didn't really make very much sense to me. Now here's a question. Eventually I'm going to have to go to war with Czechia. Czechia. Uh, I think I should probably have a Czechia by itself, or Bohemia as itself, and then Slovakia as independent, because they're not exactly the same. They're Slavs, but they're a little different. We can make a bigger Slovakia, though. Let's see. Just give it to Italy. This. I should, should have told him just take all states. Give him that to Italy, and they'll release him as a puppet. If not, I can always manage that a little bit later. Spain. Honestly, Spain should probably be given to France, because... Uh, oh, wait. Spanish Africa? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, just because they took up most up, took out most of it, maybe I'll give a little region down here of Gibraltar, or the English control of some area down here. But let's give a lot of this to France, because they spent a lot of their efforts killing these guys off. And I guess that island, they can do what they want with that, and a Dacia, and turn. Let's see, the UK will get Granada, we'll see what happens. If this turns into a horrible mess, then I will, of course, fix the border gore. Uh, the rest of the Kingdom of Spain... Hmm... 
Uh, there's a lot of small stuff. Uh, let's see. Let's go back up here. France. Get this. They can have that. And turn. What else do they have? Cape Juby, Equatorial Guinea. Yeah. This. Go to them. Since I took a lot of the Eastern European states already, and we'll have to really divide up Germany now. Yeah, go ahead and take all states. Good, and the German Empire. Now, this is going to be a little difficult for me to do because you know, the Belgians and the Allies did a lot of work. But I still want a lot of things to happen. So last time, at the end of the Great War, we took... We divided up Germany. And we divided up so that we would have a southern commune, Niederdeutschland, Saxony, and Ostpreußen, led by the monarchy. Now, I, I'm okay with the monarchy, but they basically backstabbed me this past time. Uh, what am I going to do? Satellite Poland. Uh, I do not want to release Poland, because then that would upset a lot of Polish people near Warsaw, uh, Krakow, Lodz. Um, but we obviously can't keep Germany in one area, so we're going to have to take a bunch of territory off the German hands. So what I'm going to do is we're going to set it up. Uh, I'll take Brandenburg, Mecklenburg, Pomeran, and Saxony. That'll be like one Germany, and we'll divide it up into three sections. Oh, I can't take all that. God dang it. Come on, I just want what's mine. I've got to pass a few more turns. And then, uh, yeah. I mean, if I'm taking Eastern Germany, then obviously they have to have Brandenburg and Saxony, because that's so pretty Northern German and Hinterpommern to connect all that. Alright, that should be enough for that. And Mecklenburg. That'll be one section of Germany. Now... Uh, I'll give the... I don't want to give it to the French, because they already took Spain. I don't want to give it to Italy, because they already took that. I will give this region to the English, because... I'm talking about northern Germany, because that gives them a kind of a land... a waterway into their into the country. They can divide it up how they want to see it as. And if, honestly, if this turns out to be a giant mess, which the AI may turn out to be, I can always change it up, so... There's no problem with that. England, you, or I guess the United Kingdom, Schleswig-Holstein, Hanover, da da da, uh, that looks okay-ish. Well, the w Western Rhine, we might give to Belgium. Moselin? We're gonna give them Franken. Hmm. Oh, that look. Cause that could be English for now. They could have that uh, occupied territory. Actually, we'll give that to England as, oh, shit. Oh, uh, Western Rhineland, where's the Western Rhineland? Uh, I can give that back to English. This portion, I already gave France a ton of territory, but let's give them a little bit more. And we'll see how they divide everything up. So we'll give them this, this, and this. And then Italy. And I know these borders will be terrible, but that's okay. So now we'll have to divide everything up, and actually I'm going to give this to... I'll give this part to Belgium. Mark... Now, hopefully, the Allies will come together and actually release appropriate uh, Germanys, so that they're all divided, since, I'm, obviously, if I take everything, that's a little unfair. Where is this? Exile Divisions? Ah, oh, yeah, Asia. You all have done an extremely good job. Uh, we're going to border the rest of regular China, and actually, they're still at war. So the China-British War, so it's Japan, Qing China, and Chinese State, which is dropped in, I think major power status. But they're still fighting the Allies, which is good. Which is actually really, really good, so that I can just watch from afar. Oh. oh did something happen? I mean, I wish I had an event to release people. Uh, yeah, this is going to turn out to be very disgusting. Alright. Well, since I have no event, manage to occupy territories. I don't want to keep all the German territories, territories under my rule. Oh, Manchurian Empire. No. Russian Man Oh, what do they have? Dalian? Dalian. What is that? Is this... Transfer tool. Where is that territory? Is that... Oh, is it over here? No, that's Kamchak... Kamchatka. That sounds very American. It's a very American way of saying that. Kamchatka. Yeah, probably. Uh, where is it? Oh, it's right here! Oh! Uh, even though it's an extremely important port that I should really own, I don't mind giving it to the Russian Manchurians. This way, it'll probably be Russian Manchurian. That's fine with me. I, I really don't care about that, so. 
Uh, the German Empire, I don't... Uh, I really don't want to see the German Empire again because they're just going to do exactly what we did. But last time they weren't our puppet. They were an independent country. If they're with us this time, though, I think it should be okay. Should be okay. And yeah. So, at least they're divided up. The German... I wish I could change the German Empire name to something else. Uh, Southern Commune. They're led by Kaiser Wilhelm III. Now, Kaiser Wilhelm III, don't be like your father and try to backstab me, even though we broke up your country last time. This will all be, hopefully, rectified. Or, if it's not rectified by the end of this video, and if the AI does not ch change anything, I will personally make sure that they liberate the, the divided Germany, basically. So, at least we have someone under, at least some Germans under our sphere. Next up, we will have to release someone else now. Uh, Romania? I'm thinking Romania. Moldavia? No, Moldavia is properly ours. Romania? Let's release Romania. Oh, the fall of Hong Kong. Japan has captured the British Crown colony of Hong Kong. Alright. We're going to release Romania. But, of course, this is a little bit too large for our liking. And we, of course, have plans on Mold Moldova, Moldavia. Ah... Uh, of course, this will be Slovakian territory. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Dobrujda. Dobru... Dobrujda. Yeah, whatever. Good. You all. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's release Slovakia first. Release the nation of Slovakia. And with that in mind, we shall increase the size of Slovakia when we take down the Hungarians. So this is looking not too bad. German Empire is back, of course, but they will be contained this time. And I hope to God France and the UK come to some sort of agreement regarding uh, Spain. Because we don't need another, like, what was it, 70 years war when Spain and France were allies or something in, like, 1500s, 1600s or so. So, uh, hopefully we can go to war soon. Actually, we can go to war right now against the Turks. Oh, this is hurting our interest. Wait, no. There's too many soldiers here. Uh, take out the tanks then. I don't want to cause too much stuff here. Too much supply hurt. Uh, let's go there. You guys go ahead on out. Hopefully that'll help the supply a little bit. That did help the supply a little bit. That's good. And we should have enough things. Oh, justification for Southern Slovakia for the Russian Empire is finished. Good. I hope this does not spark World War Three. seeing as I don't have any soldiers over there. Let's kill off the Ottomans first. Odds are the Allies won't invite the Ottomans to their faction, and they're already fighting the Serbs, Hungarians, and Croatians. Hmm. Maybe I should attack Serbia first, because they're technically fighting the Turks already. That actually might be a really good idea. Yeah, let's do that so we can increase the size of our Slovakia, Slovakian territory. Hmm. Huh. See their allies, not Russian pact. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Very nice. Go ahead when you can. Don't feel pressure to do too much. Oh, what's this? I can invite a faction. Oh, pfft. so I can invite the Ottomans to my faction, even though they have claims on my territory, and I have claims on Zagrad. Yeah, nationalists. You know, as much as I love being, you know, hoorah about my country, my own country, and you can do the same about yours. Yeah, no. Yeah, if you're gonna keep. Zagreb under your control without anyone helping, without, you know, any outside influence, or, you know, without giving it up to the rightful owners of it. I'm not inviting you to my faction, just because we're at war with this common enemy. And they're led by the Guardian Council of the Constitution. What type of constitution do you have when you, obviously, are promoting Jihad, Sharia law? That doesn't make any sense. And you have Jasinaries, which I believe are children taken from conquered enemies and then turned into warrior soldiers. So, yeah, we're not going to help you with that. Ooh, and it looks like Romania wants all so of southern Slovakia. And time for some water. Happy 1943, everyone, if you did not just realize it. A great year. Our, our power and influence in the world is unsubstantiated. Only maybe mirrored by the Allies. The Allies are really the only thing that could really contest us. Maybe except for a fleet, which pretty much anyone could 
probably destroy. We could get more Matt power, some more volunteers, but I think we're okay on that for now. Uh, we could claim Alaska, but at this point it doesn't matter. Army knows best, we could get more stability, which sounds like a really good idea. But we do want nukes. Hmm, war Let's get some... What does this do? War propaganda? Uh, ooh, I like the region-wide industrial integration so we can build more stuff. Oh, we have a minus, uh, a little surplus of rubber already. Very nice. Hungary is about to fall. As soon as I said that, they fell. Love it. Go ahead and reorganize yourselves. Oh, that was bad. That was really bad. Go ahead and do what must be done. Oh yeah, go right ahead, actually. Telling you to go ahead, but then really go ahead. Uh, yeah, nothing really here. What are we building? We are building some naval dockyards, which is great, and a lot of oil refineries. Awesome. So we'll get more oil, which we don't need at all. But we'll get more rubber, which is great. Uh, let's see. We have 192 civilian factories. I really don't need any more military factories, except for medium tanks, but of course, that'll, that'll come in time. I suppose I could add another... A lot, I mean, I already need more military factories. Let's let's continue with one military factory building construction for our tanks. Ooh, that's a, that's a nice infrastructure. Love it. Love that infrastructure, man. All right. We could probably rearrange this line once more. Uh, maybe not. Whatever. Your goal is the grab and getting down to Albania. Yeah, they conquered, they reconquered Budapest, whatever. Once uh, Serbia's out of the war, it won't matter. So, not really worried about that. The Bratislava's is back. Who's, who are these people led by? So, you're led by Wojtek Tuka, who's been taken out of government quite a few times, and then replaced into the government. Alright. Ooh, better construction speed. Uh, we talked about him. Romania, of course, is led by Georgic Tatarescu. I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. I've already showed you Germany. Under him. No, we already did Russian Manchuria, and yeah, we already did it. We already did everyone, I believe. So that's good. All right, pretty good. Can I change this front line? Like, it needs to be front wide. It really ought to be front wide. Like, I want you to go crazy. Like, I want to end this war as fast as possible. Oh, Croatia's okay. So that's what was screwing me up. Croatia wasn't in the war. But now they are. Okay, that's much better. Much, much better. I wondered what was going on. Alright, so we've taken 30,000, 31, probably approach 35,000 casualties soon. And our enemies are about to capitulate. And they're taking quite a few casualties themselves. Good. Oh yeah, go right ahead, guys. Make them feel your presence. And of course the casualties are going to skyrocket now since I told them to recklessly attack. And luckily, the allies are not intervening or getting involved at all. Actually, just take the capital out. Once it once it's gone, they're done. So, oh look, Encircled division. Never seen those before. Never seen those things before. Why is Romania taking out all the territory? Good. Serbia's gone, and then its puppets will soon follow. Wow, they actually have a lot of territory around here. Let's take all states. Alright, good, and of course we will change this all up when we need to. Satellite Austria, no, uh, no, 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 and then Croatia should fall very soon. Go right ahead, I mean Croatia by itself will not be able to stand up against the mighty forces of the Russian sphere. I should really rename that. And they, they were out of manpower, so it doesn't even matter. Good! We've done great work. Great, great work. Ah. Uh, the Balkans are almost fully secured now. All we have left are the Bulgarians. I think the Greeks are... Are the Greeks considered part of the Balkans? I think they are. We don't have Greece, Bulgaria, or the Ottomans. But other than that, we have all the rest of the Slavs. Minus maybe a few in what is supposed to be Bohemia. We got some extra political power. Very nice. Communist revolutions. Democracy. No, no, no. Uh, State-run cinema. Good. 
Volunteer only. Yeah, I don't need to increase it, so. Good! 157. Gordon Lafayette. Actually, instead of daily army XP, we could get something else to get more air XP and finish up air doctrine. Research rocket time. Nuclear. Oh, nuclear scientist. But that won't really help that much. Naval theorist. Uh, actually, that, that would be really good because you don't really level up your naval stuff very much. And we're going to end our episode right here. The Europe is very heavily divided right now. But at this point, Europe is looking like it could end up in a Cold War once the Allies are done with the Japanese. And the Berlin Pact turned orange. All right, then. Yeah, this is turning out to be a very interesting, not hot aggression towards each other. I know we haven't really been too aggressive towards the Allies. They haven't been very aggressive towards us. But let's be real here. Once the Berlin Pact is done and over with, it's going to heat up very much. So... Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked this episode. Uh, please leave a like if you did like this episode. I will rearrange the countries of Europe and the rest of the world once we're done here. Especially after this episode. And I will see you tomorrow. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will, like I said, I will see you tomorrow with a new order established for countries.